Hello. So, I filmed this before and I can't remember why I deleted it, <laughs> but here I am again uh, talking about it because I, can't, I just can't, I thought no one's interested in this, but I just can't get it out of my mind. Oh, by the way, look at my nose, that's why I'm not doing this to show off my nails, I just, I can't curl my fingers because they're too long. So I, I might do this throughout the video. <laughs> um what was i saying yeah i just i can't get it out of my head i need to do this video and um, even though no one will probably be interested i just want to do it anyway and just show you my nails because i i like them i really like these ones um anyway i want to start by saying no one is cringier than me and i don't know if that's just what everyone thinks about themselves or if i truly am the cringiest person in existence hopefully it's um just what people think about themselves and that it's not actually true but so like when you're going to sleep and stuff do you get memories from like five ten years ago and you're just like and it's hard to fall asleep because your brain is just showing you your your best moments the clip show of all your cringy moments and stuff does everyone get that so with that being said a few oh last um last new year's eve i made the the resolution to stop cringing um and i'll get into how and why in a moment um but i've managed to do it and i've I don't cringe much anymore. I do still cringe sometimes. Some actually, even yesterday, there was something that made me cringe. I, what was it yesterday? Oh, uh, yeah, we were watching a K drama and mad, mad about each other, mad for each other, or something. It's really good. We finished it, and I won't, do, I won't give spoilers, but he said the girl reminds him of me. And I do relate to her a lot, so I can see why, I guess. Um, but anyway, uh, there was a side character in it who was listening. There was like someone playing piano in, on the street and they were singing. And they had a crowd watching them, you know. And this girl came up with a friend and was just stood there. And she had a bottle of like liquid water or something. And she just started singing with the bottle as a microphone. And everyone was, and the piano player stopped singing but kept playing the piano and everyone was watching her. And she was singing like at the top of her voice and I was like that person was singing that's rude like that's so rude and that made me cringe and I tried not to cringe but so yeah hopefully in the future I get to a point where that even that doesn't make me cringe anyway why did I want to stop cringing there's two reasons the first is selfish the first is because it just doesn't feel good I've got paint on my finger. Oh well. Yeah, the first is because it doesn't feel good to cringe. It feels painful, like twisting and... Is it just me? Does it feel like that for others? Because there's cringe compilations on YouTube and I don't understand why anyone would click on those because it's such an awful feeling to cringe so i'm wondering if it feels the same for everyone or not so it's an awful feeling like feeling this here and stuff and also it makes me feel like a terrible person because i'm judging this person and cringing is a form of judgment and i don't want to be a judgmental person at all so it just doesn't feel good it makes me feel like a really bad person and i don't i just don't enjoy cringing so that's the selfish reason the second reason is because it's also not it's not nice to be cringed at and there's people who aren't living their lives authentically because they're scared of being cringed at or being judged 
and I know it's not a big deal it's just cringy I'm not saying you're problematic if you cringe I'm just saying this is why I stopped and that I feel a lot better for it the world would be nicer if cringing didn't exist I mean there is something I do have a problem with the, in the, with other people cringing is that there's adults on YouTube adult men cringing at teenage girls um, TikTok compilations and that just doesn't sit right with me if that's the saying I don't I can't really put into words why but they're just watching these TikTok compilations and cringing at these teenage girls is like mind your business <laughs> that they're, they're living a teenage girl life you're an adult man or adults in general reacting to any teenagers I think is a really bad thing I've not watched these uh, TikTok compilations by the way I've never clicked on a cringe compilation in my life but I have seen them because he's, some people he's um, subscribed to on YouTube sometimes react to them which is why I've seen these videos because sometimes I'm next to him as he watches them and I just I don't like it to be honest not even cringe compilations like videos in general that have teenagers in them like I saw someone yesterday they were reacting to a toxic friend compilation it, they're like a person in their thirties, I'm pretty sure, and the, all these compilations were just teenage, teenage girls again, just being teenage girls. Like you know, the teenage drama that we all have, like, oh, uh, that makes you look like a box. What you're wearing, and she's filming, and she's like, "What? Why would you say that? Are you joking right now?" And stuff. Yeah, it's bad, but we all had friends like that. It's part of being a teenager, unfortunately, and. So like all teenage drama like oh my god you you don't know what she just said about you oh no what did she say is she stole your boyfriend oh my god is she stole my boyfriend you slept with my boyfriend it's like the six the 17 years old 16 years old and they yeah they can post that on tiktok they do what they want um but i don't think adults should be i can't imagine if the things i did as a teenager would be like adults were like i didn't luckily tiktok went around back then but if i so like the things i did were just between me and my friends like through phone messages or me and my friends talking imagine an adult looking through the window like oh my god her boyfriend she cheated on her friend's boyfriend oh my god what's gonna happen next no i'll leave them alone just walk past the house and go to you know your wine tasting or whatever is completely fine just the teenagers are in that phase of their life <laughs> let them live it it's none of your business it just it really bothers me and i can't put into words why just judging judging them as if they're your age you've got a decade on them it's you know and i think compared to how i was as a teenager they're a lot better <laughs> I, like me and my friends, people back then, if we had TikTok, we'd, you know, it would be a disaster. Um, they're a lot better now. They're well, they're a lot more mature now. I wouldn't. I don't know if that's better. I think you need to make mistakes in life sooner <laughs> rather than later. Um. So yeah, that's that's why that's why I stopped cringing. Long explanation. So now for how I stopped cringing, I just saw people as people as beings on this planet in bodies that they were given through rng <laughs> they're just living their life and all the things that make things cringy are human made rules i don't think animals cringe do they so just we're all just beings and um depending on your beliefs but f i'm speaking through mine like this isn't me this is mine like i was given this you know and i'm using it until it fails um and then i'll move on that's what life is people are living as this as this not in this and i think that's where a lot of the problems come from um because we have you know we have um 
survival things in our brain um, that aren't part of our spirit and some people are overtaken by that um, and a, a lot of you know aggression comes from that and judgment and stuff which was important to survival a long time ago but it's not anymore and it's turned into cringing <laughs> is my take on it anyway uh, and I I just I don't think it's a good thing to spend energy on personally so yeah that's so did I say how so how is to just see them as beings and just what just I don't know and then you just don't see them cringy but like I said I do still cringe sometimes like yesterday it's been a while since but I did cringe yesterday but it just feels so much nicer to be able to watch these things like the when I see the cringe compilations I'm still not going to click on them um but when I do see them it's nice to be able to just watch them and not cringe it's really nice um so I'm glad that I made that decision <laughs> and hopefully in years from now I won't cringe at all even at myself I do still cringe at myself a lot I really wish I could stop that I don't know how to stop that uh, so yeah that's that's all uh, so until next time bye bye